If you wanna get started editing in Premiere Pro and have no idea where to start, you're in the right place. We're gonna walk you through that. What up? I love you. Today, we're gonna to go through the very foundations of starting a new project in Premiere Pro. We're gonna start on how to actually create the project. Open up Premiere, and once it loads in, in the very top left, you're gonna see a blue button that says new project. Click that. Once you click that button, it's gonna open up a new window, and you have a few options of different things you need to name, where you're importing footage from, and a few different checkboxes you need to turn on and off. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is name the project. Whatever you name this, it doesn't affect the actual video, it's just the file name and the project file name. So choose anything you want, make it very applicable to the project you're working on so you can find it in the future. Then we have project location. Project location is where do you want the project files and all the project previews to save. I recommend very early on you start off organized, make a folder on your computer for all of your videos and make subfolders based on the project you're working on. In each subfolder you're going to want to set the project location to the applicable one for that project and also have the footage in there. Now you're organized and if you ever need to move or grab things in the future, you have it. Don't start off bad. Don't start off without organization. You will hate yourself later. Then we're gonna bring footage into the actual project. So you'll see the big square under project location will have just different files, folders, and everything alike. You're gonna to wanna to navigate on the top left side of this by clicking back until you can navigate forward towards your project. Alternatively, you can just go to the C location for your entire computer and type in the, the actual footage name. But again, I would recommend to have all your footage saved in the same spot as the file location so that it makes it easier to navigate at this step. So you're gonna click on the folder that has all of your footage in it, and you're gonna give it a few minutes to populate. You'll notice in the bottom right, you'll have the create project button. But when you click on a folder to import footage, it's gonna take a second before you're actually able to click it. So while we wait for that, we're gonna to go to the right side of this project creation menu. On the right hand side, you'll see copy media, new bin, and create sequence. Typically, we like to keep off copy media. We like to keep off create new bin, but we do want create new sequence on. Creating new sequence allows you to automatically import your footage with all of the footage laid out on the sequence currently. The sequence will be based on how your footage was shot. So if you shot 720 footage, you'll see a 720 sequence come in. Typically we work with 1080p footage, so our, our sequence is set up as 1080p, but we'll go into the settings for the sequence in a moment. You do wanna rename your sequence. Again, it's all organization. If you don't have organization, you're gonna not have a good time. You wanna have organization. Trust me, I've done it both ways. <laughs> Organize things. Don't even think about it. Just organize it. It takes two more seconds. It saves you so much time. Once your sequence is named, go ahead and hit create project. If you create a new sequence, when you hit create new project, you'll see all of your footage is laid out on the timeline. I personally delete it all off and pull in what I want as I go. You might have a different workflow than I do, but for this example, we're just deleting all the footage and we're gonna start fresh. The quick version of how to edit in Premiere is you're gonna double click on your footage in your project window and utilize the source monitor to actually pull the in and out point. To do so, you're going to scrub through the footage and you're going to hit I for in and O for out. Once you have this, click on the footage itself and drag it onto the timeline and you'll pull the video and audio. If you want to just pull the video in, you're going to click on the video icon and drag that onto the timeline. And if you want just the audio, you're going to click on the audio icon and drag that onto the timeline. Drag out all your clips, sync them up together, make it look very okay. We're just placing footage on the timeline at this point. Once you have your video laid out how you want it, we're going to go back and we're going to do an additional trim path. So you're going to hit C on your keyboard to cut and V to return to your mouse. So you can click on the file you cut and then hit the delete key to remove it out of it. There's additional ways you can cut and trim your video, but we're gonna to stick to the very basics right now. Depending on the look and feel of the project you're working on, you're gonna to wanna to cut differently. You may wanna have very, very little space between clips, or you may want a good amount of space between clips that allows for a slower paced video. That's all up to you. I don't know what the heck you're doing. You found this because you wanna be able to edit in Premiere and I'm giving you that ability. Do it how you wish. You don't have to do the exact same as we do. Once you have your video cut together, the two main areas you're gonna to wanna to really focus on to bring the quality up are gonna be sound and color. You want your audio to sound good and you want your color to look appealing. To work through your sound, you're gonna to go to Essential Sound tab. And if you don't see that, you're gonna click Window and make sure Essential Sound is toggled on. The Essential Sound tab allows you to raise the sound of your audio, as well as go through and repair certain things that might not sound great. If there's a lot of background noise, you can turn the noise reduction toggle on and move your slider up and down 
and just kind of listen to it to notice, hey, that sound's going away, but if you turn it up too high, your voice gets distorted. And it's definitely a learn as you go type of tool. To focus on the color, you're gonna to go to your Lumetri color tab. And if you don't see that, you're doing the same thing, going up the window and making sure it's toggled on in window. In Lumetri color, you first wanna start off by white balancing your clips. There's an eyedropper tool that allows you to click on a white neutral space in your video and get an auto white balance. This will get you most of the way there. And if you're just starting out, this is a great thing to just utilize this and not worry about the rest. As you progress and learn and feel more comfortable, you can use the slider to adjust the values manually. You wanna go through the basic correction and add brightness, add your contrast, subtract your contrast, up the blacks and white levels, and all of these different sliders to get something that when you look at it, you go, that looks nice, because that's where you wanna start out. There again is no perfect way to do this. There are tips and tricks of things that make it look better. For instance, if you go one tab down to the creative tab and you up your sharpness under the creative tab, your video quality will look clearer. Now you don't wanna put this way too high because it's gonna have over sharpened your video and it will look bad, but you don't wanna lower this too much because then you will look like you shot blurry video. After you're happy with how your color and sound looks, your video's cut together and you're ready to get it out there, the quick version of exporting is hit Control M, adjust your project name and where it's saving and hit export. And now you have a video. Obviously you need to make sure your codec is correct. You need to make sure all your settings are correct. So to do that, I recommend you check our video on how to properly export video in Premiere Pro. If you think we missed anything in this very basic guideline to getting started with Premiere Pro editing, let us know. You can always comment. You can join our Discord channel and you can ask us questions. You can talk to me and ask me questions. You can ask others in their questions and they'll help you out. You can help others out. It's a community. Now that you're an expert at editing video, I want to see it. I want to see your video you create. You're the expert now, I've given you it. Put your videos out, stop sitting on videos. I know some of you just sit on videos, you're like, it's not good enough, it'll never be good. It's good enough, put it out, go to the next project. Come on, come on, we all do it, stop doing it.